Hello, I'm Congressman Alan Lowenthal. Today, we're at an environmental crossroads. Just as those that pioneered environmental protection in the 20th century faced the threat of industrial pollution, this generation faces a looming environmental disaster of our own creation. Human-caused climate change threatens almost every aspect of human existence. Left unchecked, the world of tomorrow will be a vastly different world than the one we know today. Unlike the 20th century's very visible impacts, such as acid rain, belching smokestacks, and polluted waterways, human-caused climate change is a time-delayed crisis that has grown unchecked for decades. Only now are the visible effects of climate change becoming obvious. And yet despite rising sea levels, shrinking glaciers, retreating Arctic ice, ocean acidification, changing wildlife patterns, and extreme weather events worldwide, polls continue to show that a large portion of the public believe there is a significant scientific disagreement as to whether human actions are contributing to climate change or even if climate change is real. Nothing could be further from the truth. Disinformation by entities with conflicts of interest have fueled reports of scientific disagreement. The misinformation is not coming from scientists. Today, there is not a single scientific body of national or international standing that rejects the findings of human-caused climate change. Not one. To further make the point, let me share the latest work from researcher Dr. James Powell, a geochemist and a 12-year member of the National Science Board, appointed by Presidents Ronald Reagan and George W. Bush. Dr. Powell just completed the most recent update to his survey on peer-reviewed literature on climate change. As you may know, peer-reviewed scientific papers are those that are evaluated and vetted by a panel of experts who will reject research that does not present scientific evidence to back up its statements. As you can see, Dr. Powell found that out of the 10,000 885 peer-reviewed scientific papers published on climate change in all of 2013. Only two papers reject human-caused climate change. Two out of nearly 11,000. That is less than two hundredths of one percent of all scientific papers that rejected human-caused climate change. This is not disagreement. This is not a divided scientific community. The reason for this is simple. There is no convincing scientific evidence against a human role in climate change, period. Those who would deny human-caused climate change offer no compelling evidence to better understand the undeniable rise in atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases and global temperature. The case is closed. We need to put this illusion of major scientific disagreement behind us and take action. Every minute we waste on this myth of disagreement is one minute longer we have to wait to take concrete action making any solution more difficult and more expensive. There are those who say the problem is too big and that it will be too costly or take too long. My answer to them is that, yes, the effort to solve these human-caused problems will be one of the greatest challenges in our history. But when have we as a nation ever backed down from a challenge? From the first settlers, who braved an unknown ocean to come to these shores, to our founding fathers who risked everything on a new and untested form of government, 
to our scientific minds that conquered disease and led the exploration of space the problem of climate change like so many of these great challenges in the past remains solvable and just as the ra as the race to the moon led to a generation of technological advancement and economic benefit so too can the challenge of climate change be turned into an economic boom we will be judged by our descendants for what we do today if we act now decisively forcefully efficiently we can be assured that the basic human desire to leave the world a better place for our children and their children is guaranteed